My dad about to do this yard real quick. Alright, I told y'all I was going to do a video uh, Me doing a customer's driveway I'm getting ready to knock this driveway out She's actually a, a customer that I Clean her gutters out twice a year um, I charge her about 35 bucks to clean out the gutters on the house $10 to clean out the uh, garage gutters real easy gutters they take about maybe 10 minutes to do so yeah this year I kind of regret not putting snow removal on the flyers. I usually have snow removal on the flyers and do pretty good with snow, but um, I was planning on just cutting grass, but uh, that was kind of a mistake because I get too bored in the wintertime. About five years into my business right now, and. I got myself to the point where I can make a, enough money in the summertime that I don't need to work in the winter. So I, I try to take advantage of that, but when the, when the winter time actually got here, I realized I'm just too bored. I mean, there's just nothing to do. I mean, I could go get another job, but I'm just not, I'm just not really into working for people like that. Not, not when I've been pretty much all my life working for myself, so. Yeah, this year I'm gonna go ahead and put snow removal back on the flyer, my lawn care flyer. I don't, I don't advertise them separately. I just, I just put it onto my, my lawn care service flyer and um throughout the year I just kind of I just kind of upsell it uh snow removal service for my lawn care uh customers some people just call me just for snow removal by itself you know I mean that's all right too So yeah, this year I'll be advertising snow again, and get it back going. Um, it's, it's just too bored and boring and, uh, My in the winter time. Uh, if you don't mind dropping a comment, letting me know what you do in the winter time. If you if you run a snow removal business or a lawn hey, care service. Subscribe, leave a comment. If you have any questions, you like on this video if you like it. What do you do when he got up? You have to put the floor somewhere else. Yep, this is my hustle right here in the winter time. I go ahead and just knock out driveways. Uh, the first year I did it, I had about I had a contract uh, with people and I hated it because I had to go out with, and work for people that I didn't necessarily care for too much. So that year I learned a big lesson. Don't never put yourself under contract and be obligated to do nothing for anybody in this business. Um, it's just not worth it. You just be better off. Uh, in my opinion, if you're gonna do snow removal, don't don't use contracts because the thing about it is you might have those people, um, you know, locked in, but they got you locked in too. So now they could be nasty with you and. 
do stuff like that and you can't do nothing about it because you obligated to take care of their driveway regardless of how they treat you and that's what I didn't like because I, I'm on I wasn't gonna cheat anybody out of their money I was gonna continue to do it but I definitely had to uh, rethink that whole contract thing it just it just wasn't worth it to me Yep, so I'd rather just do driveways the same way that I do grass and just pretty much get paid when I get there as I go. But, you know, it's, 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 it's really up to you. You know, you make your business how you see fit. I mean, if, if you got good customers and you feel like that's how you want to do it, that's how you do it. I mean, you got to design your business to be how you want it to be. That's one thing I learned is like, when it comes to the lawn care business, it's not a cookie cutter business got to make it you got to make it work for you and uh yeah that's that's how I do things now I just kind of architect my business to fit my life and you know how I want it to be you know because everybody got a different vision for their business and ain't nothing wrong with that but that's just my opinion I don't I don't I don't do contracts at all like that that winter was brutal and uh i didn't charge enough that's that's another thing i way underpriced my service i was charging about like 200 dollars for the whole season i just literally didn't know what i was doing and uh i didn't have no like clauses in there or nothing it was just like 200 dollars I'll be here every two inches until April. I didn't have a certain amount of storms in there or nothing. It was just like, and I was one of the worst winners in Cleveland. So I didn't get lucky and just get one of those winters where it didn't, didn't, where it didn't um, snow at all. It was like, uh, just, just terrible that winter. I, I honestly believe if I would have tried to charge what I really should have got, I wouldn't have got nowhere near as many customers, if any at all. Because, to be honest, if you coming out in, in a certain amount of inches with this log, with this uh, snow removal stuff, you got to charge what you really worth. You don't want to undercharge a service like this. We talking about being up at like three in the morning to get people. I mean, even if you plowing, you don't want to undercharge this at all. You want to, if anything, you want to overcharge and not have as many customers than than the undercharge. You, you don't want to do that with this kind of business. Trust me, it's a brutal business sometimes, especially with a snowblower. But Hey, it gets the job done, you know. Like and subscribe this video if you think it was helpful so other people can find it. And y'all get out there and make some money off this white gold. My cameraman right there. Son.